Yes people, F1 2010 is back. Hello everyone and welcome, finally, finally we're back playing F1 2010 career mode. Now remember we are in the Virgin, we're at Turkey, I don't even know what to say. We're back, we are currently 7th in the standings, we've got all the points for the Virgin Marusha Racing Team, I think it's his official name, actually I think it's just a sponsor. Anyway, let's jump straight to the Grand Prix. Right, we're joining in practice now because as you may remember we used to just do practice if there was R&D and um, we have got some R&D for today which is a reduced car front drag which is good because we are so slow in a straight line and I remember that because it's not something you forget in a hurry. But obviously I've got to learn the game because obviously as you can tell on the channel we've been playing a lot of F1 Championship Edition and the games are like night and day, obviously completely different, we've got the wild ass turn 8. But yeah, it's got to keep braking because braking, obviously, they're still like normal, like back in the day brakes, no brake by wire in this. We cross the line, we do a 1 minute 40, we pass the time, and uh, yeah, RD successful. Right, qualifying now, and it's moist. Went too quick and dry. So, this could be an interesting session for us. Remember, if you're not familiar, we just do a 20 minute session, we ain't doing none of that Q1, Q2, Q3, there's no point in letting anyone else suffer. But we come final towards turn 1, breaking a bit of the road, because I thought, the, is the rain, yeah, so the rain, we, grip, thing is though, grip in the rain is pretty much like driving in the dry, there's not a huge difference. So we do, we can, mid-table, we've been pretty successful in qualifying this season obviously there's a couple of tracks we do really struggle with mainly the car and the car balance never really clicking on right control batteries are low we don't worry about it. we've done a 33-0 right everyone seems to go ah we're round that's fine we're testing grip levels that's fine but we're currently actually well, I think we jump back to the pits and we'll have a look at the times because I'm not sure if everyone's really set a represented time but as we're fast forwarding in the garage we are currently 1.4 seconds quicker than Weber in second place I did have to check, I promise you I checked and it is still on Legend Difficult Effort because I played it for a while and knocked it down, but it hasn't. We are still currently 1.4 seconds quicker, but I thought that might have been a little bit early stages. But we are going to go back out for a, another lap. And I'm sure if there's a few cuts in the commentary, um, I'm doing this with a couple of other people in the gaff, so I might have to stop every now and then to reply. So if there's some cuts in the commentary, um, I tried, alright? Oh well, anyway, we've got two minutes left of the session left, and we are two tenths up in the middle sector. Surely. Right, so what's the gap to where, but... No, I can't see my right. Knackered eyes. Is that seven tenths up in this sector? So, it's sector two, we're seven tenths up. I, th I think that's how it's working. I ain't gonna, don't hold me to it. But we're pretty good in the final sector. The final sector's, what, three corners? And as long as you hook it up, nice. And we found half a second. Half a second. I don't think they're beating that. I think we're going to take pole. We are taking pole. Engineer. Jay's a very passionate man is our engineer. But 1.9 seconds we take pole position by. Absolute scenes on the return. But we're kind of really. I think if the race is wet we could win. If it's dry, I'm going to hold everyone up. Right, join us in the garage now, and sadly it is bone dry. So we are going to start on the option tyres, because I think I need the grip. 
mainly just copy everyone else's strategy. So we need the grip really. But let's get straight to the grub. Let's get straight to the grid. Yes, people, we haven't done one of these in a while. We are on pole. Look at that shiny red, black VR. Weber's third. He's leading the championship. Glock. I'm going to come at him with a Glock soon. He's coming in 23rd. The pace is in the car as well. He was it another? Is he another points finish? How you tell? He's a rusty looking ass to get in the car and put some points on the damn table. We haven't even had barely any upgrades this season. As we started the Grand Prix, we got a fire towards turn one. Mainly, we need to take advantage of the fact that the AR on this game are horrendous on lap one. So if we can build a little bit of a gap, we can work with that and see, just see what happens. I'm not expecting a win. Top five, podium. Podium, I'd throw a podium if I'm being honest with you. But we've had a decent little start here. It's all good, but they're coming at us. Weber's coming to us. That was a poor start. He was second. Oh, we've run it wide. We're going to come across the grid. Oh, come across the grid. Come across the track. But we have taken Mark Weber's front wing off. But is that his entire front wing? Or have we just knocked an end plate off? Can't get him in his slipstream, but that Red Bull is mighty in a straight line compared to us. But we've got cars behind us. Oh, Massa, Hamilton's there. Get on the brakes. Really late on the brakes. Get the car stopped. But because it's a uh, right handed exit, you can kind of hold it out wide, defend a little bit. Cut off his pass, he's forced to break at the final corner. We are going to lead the first lap of the Grand Prix, but the three cars we've got behind us, this might not be easy. This could be a long one for us. But we just need to keep it neat and tidy, because realistically, the only places I'm really being... T I think I'm going to lose the lead or lose positions is into the, what? You've got a final three corners after that long straight. Possibly after turn eight as well, because there's a small straight you run the brakes, but you don't have to brake too hard because you can f you can throw it early in. So we've got Hamilton behind us. I can't have turn. So you're not going to make a move into there. So if I can hold up a little bit mid corner, cause them to brake, we could see it drops them all the way back there. So by the time we get out of this corner up here, but see then you'd cut straight to Hamilton coming straight up our back passage. Oh, that was poor from me. I saw him coming, I'd cut him off, and his whole front wing's gone. He's got, yeah, he's come straight into the pits. Weber's um, end plate was the only thing that he lost on his front wing. That is two front wings and two laps, though. You know, I'm a clean driver. I'm a clean driver. I take pride in my driving, but sometimes you've got to take what take things that matters into your own hands. But, still P1. We've taken out most of the competition, so that's alright. But anyway, here comes Weber with that... I've, I've made him lighter with that end plate. So we just sit in the middle of the road, defend the inside. This might not be too bad. Issue we might have is we might, he's on the outside, we're going to bring it out wide. Just cut him off. Because he'll have to break and reposition himself for the final corner. That'll allow us for an exponentially good run out of the final corner. And we have probably gained about eight, seven, eight tenths on him. But we are pitting this lap. This is where it all happens. It, this, if we're going to lose this, it could be in the pits. But we're out a little bit wide. That is going to allow a Weber right up the inside. I saw the Red Bull logo flash past our eyes as we look behind us. Straight up the inside. He's not going to do us around the outside here. Weber was good. Actually, Weber was good. But, yeah. See, if we... Turn 8. Turn 8 is a really good place to defend. And then we can... You kind of like half break. They slow down. And then we can gain like second on them. But straight away. Do not plow into the front jack, man. Can we get out in front of the Red Bull? We're, basically, we're racing Ferrari and Red Bull on pit lane. We had a last car break a little bit early. I didn't want to take no chances because if we plough forward, it's an eight second stop minimum. We're behind four or five cars then. 3.8, that's a great stop from the boys. And we're getting massively, I'm guessing they've changed Weber's front wing. And who's that to our right? Who is that to our right? Oh, I thought it was Vettel there. I thought that was Sebastian Vettel, but it's Buemi. We got a bit of blab, bad blood. We've been cussing him out all season in the press. He kept his drive. Admittedly, they offered me a contract, I just didn't take it. And, uh, yeah. Actually, they offered me number two, didn't they? Despite me getting all the points. Actually, we're war under the bridge. We're going to worry about that things now. But we have got Robert Kubica behind us. Now, I didn't know at the time whether this was for position or he hadn't peered yet. It's technically always for position, but you know what I mean. We're currently P3. Once it's reset itself. P3, we've got, who's that? Vettel. Same eyes are knackered. But you see, I, at this point, I still didn't know if Kubica, we were racing position. He's going to fire up the inside. Yeah, you see, we can't just let him. I didn't fight him too much because I was certainly hadn't pitted yet. But 
the fact that he's got so much speed on me suggests he might have pitted, which is worrying considering we've only just put these tyres on. So <clears throat> it will be interesting to see. I'm not sure. I don't think Vettel's pitted yet. I think he had a poor start. He could have lost a front wing early. We don't really know what happened to him. That's poor exit out there. Once we've got on the kerb, it really hampers your exit. And I believe we're about to get done by Kubica in the Renault. Weber. Is that Weber behind him in the Red Bull? He's going to the right. And we're going to defend the inside line. We have to defend the inside line. Break after Kubica does. Because we can sort it out mid-corner. Because running out wide here is fine. Because it's an inside line. You instantly get back on the defensive. Kubica does dive into the pit lane so we probably wasted some tyres fine with him could have just let him go but we weren't to know we were not to know but we have Weber and Nico Rosberg behind us I'm not sure what's happened to Felipe Massa really not sure but he's here now he's overtaken Rosberg but the one upside is Massa and Ros Massa Rosberg and Massa no Massa Rosberg and Weber were fighting so it has allowed us to stretch the gap just a little bit so it's what, I think it's about 1.1, 1.2, yeah, 1.2 there as we break for the final sequence of corners, but in a straight line, Weber, Weber's getting half a second on us in a straight line. There is not a lot we can do. But we're about to start lap 9 of the Grand Prix, which means we've got about 4, what, 9, about 4 to go, 3 to go. <clears throat> so, if we can just use that coming out of pits there, that's Fernando. He's pit, we've been jumped by Fernando in the pits. He's jumped us. We've been too worried about Weber and what's going on behind us. We were not putting the laps in to get ahead of Alonso. Where did he even start? He might, I think he must have gone... He must have been down the grid. Some prime tyres. And he's done the lot of us. Just seems fair play to the man. Fair play. So the win is now instantly off the cards because I weren't paying attention. But Weber's done us. I'm not sure we're going to get back on him this time. Really don't because he's got so far. It was a poor exit. We're just gonna throw up the inside. We are gonna throw up the inside. We've been trying to bubble around. You flit. I'm gonna find you. Oh, and we've taken Rosberg out. That was very career 2010 esque. No, I thought a podium was. Sh we were shooing for a podium. I'm not entirely sure if that was even my fault. Try well, my fault. I have a bit of backbone. Outrageous! Wait, but let us have some. You're leading a damn championship, man. And then we've got struggling with Sutil here, man. He didn't even clone the race. I've gone from battling for the lead to Adrian Sutil in the space of a lap. It is hurting my pride, but a fourth would be good for us. Let's look at the positive sides. Points. What's that? 12 points for fourth. I'll take it. I'll fr Do you know what? At the start of. Race, even though I started on pub, wasn't expected to win. Wasn't expected to be done by Alonso from wherever he started on the grid either. It's catastrophic behaviour. But we are coming up, we need to defend the inside line. This is, see, the issue is here. Need a good exit out of here. We haven't really hit the apex of that. Get the car straightened up nice. Get on the power. Now we have a decent gap there, and he has a car behind him. I'm hoping we'll just lay him out a little bit so we can creep to the line, take a decent P4 finish, 12 points. But look at the speed. What is going on? What is happening with this car? Fernando Alonso takes the lead, takes the win. And yeah, we're going to come home in P4. Weber second, Massa third, ran out of podium. We're just missing out of the podium because we're, I'm finding him after this. I'm going to dash him with an our Red Bull can as well. But P4, I take it. I'll take P4. How's the engineer about this? Yeah, look, 12th place is huge points for us, for the team. Yeah, I take it. Alonso, Lee, Alonso wins, Weber second, Massa third. It's, it's Paul Rosberg, didn't even get points in the end. Glock last. Oh, there's a lot of disqualifications down there. What happened? Did they disqualify Glock being too slow? Better championship stands. We've gapped ourselves to Satil. Button, but see, Button's only four points ahead of us. When the rivalries come round, Button hasn't been that sharp this season. If I throw my ring, if I throw my hat in the ring for a McLaren rivalry, possible. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video and the return of F1 2010, then yeah, please hit the thumbs up button. We're coming back. The races will be thick and fast. If you like them thick, that is. <clears throat> Just please, come on. It's PG channel. But yeah, anyway, if you have enjoyed the video like subscribe yeah 
next time we've got montreal let's get to it thank you for watching ciao ciao